Good morning, my dear students. How are you doing? It's me, Miss Karen. I'm going to teach you math grade 2. Now we are in week 6, lesson 1. Before starting the lesson, let's make a quick review about time by watching this video. We tell the time so we know when different events happen throughout the day. Whether during the morning, noon, evening or night. This is an analog clock. The blue highlighted area is called the clock face. The red lines are called hands. No, not these types of hands. We have two types of hands on the clock. This is the minute hand. The minute hand is the longer hand. The other type of hand is called the hour hand. This hand lets us know what hour it is and it is the shorter hand. The numbers on our clock face represent the hours. Look at the minute hand zoom around the clock. We've sped up how long it would usually take. You will notice that both hands are spinning in the same direction. We call this clockwise. What's the time? When the longer hand, the minute hand, is pointing to the number 12 and the smaller hand, the hour hand, is pointing to one of the hour numbers, we call this o'clock. For example, when the minute hand points to 12 and the hour hand points to 1, we say it's 1 o'clock. But when the minute hand, the bigger hand, gets to the number 6, then we say half past. You can see that when the minute hand is pointing to the 6, our hand is pointing to the number 7, we say the time is half past seven. Can you tell the time? Is it 12 o'clock, three o'clock, or is it half past three? It's not half past three. It's three o'clock. What time is it now? Is it 10 o'clock, half past 12, or is it 12 o'clock? It's not half past 12. Hint, look at where the minute hand is pointing. It's 10 o'clock. The big hand is pointing at 12, so we say o'clock and put it after the number that the small hand is pointing to, which is 10. That means it's 10 o'clock. What is the time now? Is it half past six, six o'clock, or is it half past four? It's not six o'clock because the minute hand isn't pointing to the number 12. It's not half past six as both hands would be pointing at six. It's half past four. Well done. Why not check out more of our fun videos to explore other areas to help your learning? Now, take out your math workbook Open page 79. Let's do exercises. Ready? Yes! Exercise 5. Choose the best unit to measure the time of each event. Draw lines to match. Now, we have these pictures. We will match to their times. For example, first one, brushing your teeth. Brushing your teeth. If you like to brush your teeth, it takes by seconds or by minutes or by hours. Brushing your teeth takes minutes. Very good. This picture, a plane journey. For example, you like to travel from one place to another place. It takes seconds or takes minutes or it takes hours. It takes hours. Well done. The last picture, winking your eye. Winking your eye, it takes seconds. Very good. Now, draw lines to match. Exercise 6. A. How many days are there in five weeks? How many days are there in five weeks? In previous lesson, we said that we have seven days in a week. Seven days in a week. Okay. If we have seven days in a week, how many days are there in five weeks? Seven days, seven 
multiply by 5 because we have 5 weeks equal 35 days well then there are 35 days in 5 weeks very good b how many months are there in 2 years again i said we have 12 months in a year if we have 12 months in a year how many months are there in 2 years 12 it means 12 months multiply by 2 2 means 2 years equal 24 months well then there are 24 months in 2 years very good now write the answers thank you